If I had a nickel for every time I got confused, I'd be like, where'd this nickel come from? And then there'd be another nickel and I'd think, what's with the nickels? Leading to more nickels and confusion and eventually I'd slowly be crushed by nickels without ever knowing why. <laughs> Dude, I swear this is like me. Where did this paper plate in my room come from? Did I, did I eat today? I'm still hungry. Why is this here? I didn't eat. But it turns out I did, and someone else just has to inform me. And that is the world in which we live today. Hello everybody and welcome to Calvis, my name is Lumo, and today we're gonna be looking at r slash me IRL, a subreddit dedicated to all the things that are just hashtag relatable on the hashtag social media network. So let's just hashtag get right into it. God, I hate everything I just said. I have a cleaning lady who comes every two weeks, and I can't be home while she's there because I feel guilty for not help. <laughs> oh my God, dude, I feel this on a spiritual level. I cannot see other people working and not be working and be like, mm, mm, yeah, no, I shouldn't help. I should just keep doing what I'm doing. Like, if I see my dad outside doing something on the deck, I will I will stop what I'm doing to go and ask if he needs help, if I am able to. Like, I, I hate seeing people work and I'm not helping. It, 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 it's butt sauce, dude. It's complete butt sauce. Cause you know, people need to take a little bit of time for themselves. And I'm just like, nope. When the doctor starts asking what you're taking for depression, medicinal pizza. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude, pizza's too good at curing everything except for childhood obesity. Oh my god, I, I, I'm I kind of active, so I can, I can eat a little bit extra and still burn it off and be fine. But every time my parents are gone, I pop in a freezer pizza in the oven for myself for the weekend. Because like, oh yeah, I'll have it for breakfast tomorrow and like lunch the next day, you know, just set myself up for the weekend. And then I eat half the goddamn pizza and it throws the entire thing out of whack because I don't have to consider other people's needs. <laughs> and so far this hasn't ruined my body, but I, I feel like it wants to. The way children pick up animals stresses me out. Oh my god, dude, same. Girlfriend and I just got like two little baby mini Rex bunnies. They're very cute and I love them. But the thing, <laughs> the thing is, is whenever someone else is in the room and they don't know how to pick up the bunnies, every time they start reaching down, I'm like side-eyeing, like, don't you dare hurt my little buddy. Pick her up by her butt. <laughs> don't, don't just grab her chest. Make sure to support her little butt. It hurt. It hurt inside. I don't have the energy for this. Someone. For what? Me. Just, just vaguely. <laughs> oh my God, that was me during college. <laughs> So much went wrong during my college years, and I am like horribly in debt because of it. But my my townhouse that the school rented to us literally flooded like three times, and they tried to blame it on us, saying that like, oh yeah, you guys clogged the uh, the drain somehow. But they pulled out a literal pizza box. We didn't have pizza at the dorm at this point in time. And in fact, the only person in our dorm who would have showered with a pizza box just kind of didn't shower, which is an entire other issue. But the place flooded like three times and they tried to blame it on us. And so every time someone's like, you know, how, how's college life? I'd be like, eh, moist. Reddit, emojis. <laughs> Reddit, special emojis you have to pay for. God, dude. The emoji police on Reddit are probably some of the like, the smallest brain individuals I think I can ever see. It's just modern hieroglyphics, get over yourself, so you don't like seeing emojis. Nobody gives a shit. Like, honestly, what kind of self-righteous gatekeeping piece of shit do you have to be? To be like, you used an emoji on reddit.com, I'm here to stop you, I am the authority. Like, no. Nobody gives a god dilly dang piece of poo poo ya. No one cares whatsoever. All you are is some small peepee little sad boy who probably can't really talk to people outside of reddit.com. Just a theory. Game theory, thanks for watching. 90s kid, don't you mean sad adult? <laughs> These are very targeted at me today, and I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it at all. <laughs> you know, I've always questioned, am I still a 90s kid? Because I was born uh, in the early 90s, so I was a child during the 90s, but most of my formative years we're during the 2000s, so this, am I still a 90s kid or am I a 2000s kid? I don't know. I remember Y2K. I remember Windows 93. No, sorry, Windows 95. And I remember we had a game called AJ's Quest. Is that, am, I, am I a 90s kid? Because I was playing 80s DOS games. <laughs> Do I get to be in the 90s club? 
Me, every time I leave a room after being super kind and bubbly. Oh my God, this is a mood. God, this is actually like way too relatable to me today. I don't like that. This, <laughs> I, I actually regret taking this one. Oh God, dude, I'm, I'm pretty extroverted. Like the personality I present on Calbus is very similar to the personality I have in real life. When I do stuff as Lumo Blaze, I, I tend to put on like a small veneer just to like round out the edges. But uh, I, I, I tend to be pretty kind and bubbly, but I'm also like one of the most <laughs> wrathful MFers that I know. So like, I, I feel this when that like petty nature of like must smash emotionally. I'm like, no, no, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. And then I got to leave the room and just like decompress. It's awful. I hate it. Too relatable. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, the year the clowns tried to kill us was better. Some would argue that the clowns are still trying to kill us by not wearing their masks. Ooh -hoo! Ooh -hoo! You like that? You like that? <laughs> uh, what if that happens in October? <laughs> what if the killer clowns come back in October? <laughs> then what do we do? Like, do we have a plan for this? When someone asks you to speak about yourself for two minutes and all of a sudden you don't know who you are. Honestly, th <laughs> this is gonna sound really like self-centered. Uh, vlogging really helps with that uh, if you need a hobby and you need to learn how to speak about yourself because you become more in tune with your hobbies and your personality and what you like and dislike because you're talking about them. You're actively vocalizing it to an audience of strangers so they might better know who you are. So I would genuinely say uh, if you have trouble speaking about yourself for like interviews and stuff, try vlogging. Try vlogging for a little bit. Do it on Twitter, do it on YouTube, who cares? But it helps a lot. It'll help you a lot, at least with that. Just don't over publicize everything and just don't become Paul. <laughs> don't become a Paul. <laughs> oh no! Okay, so this, this prompt story time. I had uh, an interview down in like Cambridge, Mass, I think. I feel okay saying this because I didn't get the job and most of you guys don't know what my day job is. But <laughs> there's this parking garage that was like, I think it was connected to the, the metro station. And uh, I brought my girlfriend down because she knows the area and I was hoping she would help me navigate because I don't do well down there. I'm a, I'm a country boy. I'm used to cow paths and dirt roads. I'm not used to like city infrastructure. So she came down with me. We go into this parking garage. I do my interview. Turns out the job was a scam. So we just left and we get back to the parking garage and it takes me like 10 minutes to finally find the exit after circling around this labyrinthian like subterranean garage. We get to the exit, you have to drive to a completely different gate to get your ticket to put in the machine to get out. So another 10 minutes of wandering through this maze later, we finally get to that gate, but we have to then, you know, get the card. So I have to get out of the car, put the card in the machine, get that, back out of that, then go back around to the actual street we had to get out on because that one was a one way that just looped back into the station. So eventually we got out, but it was like a 30 minute adventure inside of a parking garage and like no one else was there. It was really unsettling. I thought I was going to die. Sips coffee, my poop, bonjour. <laughs> Ah, oh, dude, oh, man, back when I used to work at a Best Buy, uh, I, I always worked at the morning shift because uh, warehouse lads, we have to empty trucks in the morning. So it's like moving appliances and stuff. Really good workout. You know, I got really strong there, but I found the world's worst combo, a monster and a Dunkin' Donuts bacon, egg and cheese croissant. Sorry, sausage, egg and cheese croissant. For some odd reason, these two combinations are better than any laxative and will kill you. <laughs> I felt so bad every time I had to stop halfway through the truck because I was like, hey boss, I'm gonna poop myself, BRB. Therapish, unleash the tiger inside you. The tiger inside of me. Hey guys, look, it's Zen's two VR chat avatars. He has one tiger that's standing on his back legs and one really fat tabby cat that looks like the tiger. This is just an image of Zen in VR chat to me and you can't convince me otherwise. Just remembered, I exist outside of my own perception and people can see me and form an opinion about me. Now you might act like that's a terrible thing, but that just means that people might be thinking better about you than you think about yourself. They might believe in you and they might genuinely think that you're a wonderful person. I think I'm a rancorous piece of shit, but people tell me they feel opposite and that, that it's a good feeling. So yeah, some people might judge you, but some people might think very kindly of you. So think kindly about yourself because they love you and I love you.
Don't come to my house. You didn't have a childhood if you didn't put one of these bad boys under your legs in the pool and pretend you were surfing. And then it shoots out of the water like a torpedo and gives you a Mike Tyson uppercut from hell. Oh my gibbity gam, it's a boogie board. Oh my god, I love these. I love these things. God, one of my girlfriend's friends actually goes surfing. And like, I, I've always wanted to try it, uh, but we also <laughs> we also went floating down a river a couple of weeks ago. And I think I told that story on Calvis, but genuinely we passed two people. We passed one dude on a boogie board going like 15 miles an hour in the pool, I swear. Not pool, in the river, I swear. But we also passed a girl on a surfboard just kind of lazily paddling along. And I envied both of them because it looked a lot more fun than trying to out pedal a ca out pedal a thunderstorm in a kayak when you type an entire rant and then decide not to press send <laughs> god dude i always forget how sculpted ang was for a 12 year old it's really unsettling but also this is a mood this is a mood i cannot send massive rants anymore well i can i still do but i i i filter so many of them <laughs> What feels illegal, but isn't? Walking out of a store without buying anything. Oh my god, dude. I dress like a hooligan. I like I like baggy pants, and I like having my hoodie on. It's just comfortable. It just feels good to me. But every time I walk out and someone looks at me, I look back at them with, like, panic in my eyes, because I'm like, I'm not stealing anything. Please just let me go. I'm not doing anything wrong. Please just let me go. Don't stop me. Don't search me. There's nothing. I I'm too good a boy to steal. How eight-year-old me thought I would look at 20 versus how I actually look at 20. <laughs> Hold on. That looks like, oh, I, do I know this person? <laughs> do I know this person? That, that looks like one of my friends. Oh, this is tripping me out because this is something she would do as well. <laughs> I want those Taco Bell chips. Give them to me. Backstreet Boys, algebra teachers, tell me why. <laughs> I'm not sure why this is in me IRL, but it's kind of breaking me. <laughs> so stupid. This is a nightmare. Exciting ideas. No. I'd rather be put in the luggage hold than have to sit like this on a plane. Why? Why would you make this a thing? I get that we need to socialize more with strangers, but today's culture is very toxic to this idea, and therefore I would say uh, no, especially now, when if you so much as sniff somebody, they die. Like, you gotta, no, you gotta not. You gotta not. When you see another classmate on the same Google Doc at two in the morning. <laughs> oh man, when I was in college doing game dev stuff, this was like a mood. Uh, basically, uh, what I had done, uh, we had an assignment that required us to recreate a samurai's movements in 3DS Max using a skeleton. And what I had done for my classmates was I put it into Premiere and rendered out all the frames. And I put that on a Google Drive so people could, like, get at it. And the statistics that I got from that were hilarious because, like, half the class downloaded it on the first day I made it available and the teacher told everyone that I had done it. And then the other half of the class downloaded it literally the night before the assignment was due. <laughs> it broke me. It really broke me. That awkward moment between birth and death. Thank you, Pakalu. Very cool. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, dude. Man, dude. He's not wrong, though. You ever stop and question, like, there's nothing when we're gone, and there's nothing beforehand, so how do we know that any of this existed prior? We just kind of assume that it did. Think about that. Don't think about it too hard, though, because it's really stupid. <laughs> My special talent is assuming our friendship is a burden on you and you dread hearing from me. So then I stop talking to you to ease the load and ruin what we had. You're welcome. Ah, oh, dude, okay, no, when I was a kid, I had multiple people tell me they stopped talking to me because I was a burden, and it has effed me up to this day. To this day, I question every last relationship I have with people, including the one with my girlfriend for two years and with, like, Condi and Zen, who I've known for at least six at this point. Be very kind to the uncomfortable kid, because what you say to him will stick forever. Be kind to people. You never know what it's going to do to him if you go off on him. And that's all the time we have here today on Kelvis. If you like this, make sure to subscribe and leave a like because all the support you guys have been showing us has been instrumental in keeping the channel going. If you want more me IRL, there's going to be another episode popping up on your screen in just a couple of seconds. As always, my name has been Lumo, and I hope to see you in the very next Kelvis video. Have a lovely day. <laughs>